Good evening, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop again. This is number three <coughs> in today's series of the weekend um, uh, weekend work. And uh, what we have here is the gauge that I'm making, which is a pin uh, with a thread still to be cut. I'll be showing that as a separate item. And then a nut that's going to screw onto this, um, onto this thread. This is 100 millimetres. This is... Uh, uh, 64.925 diameter um, and this will be a, an M64 by 4 pitch thread. Now uh, in the drawing they've called for this groove here um, with a 25 degree relief in both directions. Now the way I achieved that was rather than be turning the compound in 25 degrees in both directions uh, I use um, this multi-angle head uh, and it's it's got 40 points on it so every point is, is, is 6 degrees so what I did was I turned that through the first turn locked that in and then adjusted this um, this cutter with my compound to and I just swung it slightly inside of the um, the holder until I got my 25 degrees and that's how I cut that uh, that angle off without any um, uh, without even having to move the compound at all and vice versa the other one I did with the um, with the opposite hand um, this uh, this uh, left uh, this right hand one and this is the left hand and they um, uh, and I use them to be able to do that very quickly, very easily, um, by using this uh, this wonderful contraption, which is in good stead. Um, now, after doing this work up till here, uh, and I, the, the earlier one shows some of the machining, of course this um, produced quite a lot of swarf. And uh, this is the time, I suppose, to talk about swarf, um, handling of swarf. Now, and uh, there's all sorts of ways and means of doing that, but the way I use it is I have I have this rod that I use for pulling when you've got stringy stuff. Hopefully you don't you don't need to, but generally speaking for pulling it or pulling it out away. And secondly, the other thing I use is is these side cutters. And once again with smooth handles, not not uh, with rubber grips, but just with smooth handles and I can just chop and or pull it away with that uh, and not don't use gloves or don't use any other method except for those two for pulling swarf or stopping the machine or stopping the cut feet and the other thing handling with the swarf is of course is to is to remove it from the um, from the machine and and collect it up so here I have several methods of cleaning up afterwards of course one is the old the old yard broom uh, everybody has one of those. <coughs> the other thing I have is this magnetic wand. This section here has magnets in it and it has a pull handle. And when you pull that handle, you're actually pulling the, the magnets back over here and then that drops anything off that's captured. So if you capture some items on that, like here, and uh, you drop it into the, into the bucket, then um, and you just pull the handle, it all drops away. Um, so that's another item. The third item is when I'm working with stringy stuff and pulling it out, is this heavy heavy duty welding glove. I don't use hands. Of course the machine's not working. All we're doing is collecting the swarf and putting it away. So this is the other item that I use. And the fourth item for picking up is this long handled uh, long handled magnet uh, which I, I use to just clean up the floor and then with this same uh, heavy glove I, swe I, I, I sweep it off into the um, into the bin so there we have it um, I've, uh, my wife has just called me for, for dinner so I'm heading into the workshop and I'll come back and I'll set up to do the threading to make this thread here and then the next step will be to put this in the saw uh, saw it off to length, uh, saw it off uh, one millimetre longer and then I will be reintroducing it and just doing the final trim on the back. 
then it has to go to the mill and have two holes drilled in it and tapped according to the drawing. So that's it for the moment on uh, number three of this uh, weekend special. <laughs>